Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 126 of Lightroom Quick Tips. Were you ever out and about and maybe you captured a video with your phone and then later on when you looked at the video you go, darn, I should have took some pictures. Well, in this episode of Lightroom Quick Tips, I'm going to show you how you could take a video, import it into Lightroom, and then capture a still from the video and then process that still image just like any other image in Lightroom. It's very easy to do. Now, the first thing you need to do is get the video into Lightroom. And you could do that just like you would import an image. You'd be in the library module. You could click on the import button down here in the lower left. Or you could go up to file and down to import photos and video. And what you would do, the import dialog comes up, just navigate to where the video is on your computer. Now, I put a video of my son's band on the desktop in a folder here and that's it I'm just gonna add it to Lightroom now it doesn't matter what you use up here you could copy it move it or add it um, to Lightroom what you do will not change how you're gonna capture the still image from it now in my case I'm just gonna add it because it's easier for me to do that right now then we're gonna go to the folder and here is the video of my son's band now what you may find is when you first load the video if you go down here at the bottom you'll see down here we have a play button that isn't active we have a scrubby slider that isn't active and then you have some other things and this is all kind of diminished now we can't use it what you need to do if that happens is just wait and it usually will become active or if you want to make it go a little faster is just click on let's say the develop module and then clip click back to the library module and you'll see that it's now active so we could hit play and we could play the video and we could find a frame in the video that we want to capture we also could just grab the scrubby slider and move it to the right until we find a spot in the video that we want to capture now in this case maybe right when Dan's singing here we'll capture this frame here so we figured out the frame we'd like to capture it's very easy again if you look here we have the play button the scrubby slider the time in the video we're at the 20 second mark and then we have these two icons the icon to the far right is just to help you better trim the video and it will expand this uh, editing portion down here at the bottom so you could look at the individual frames and you could clip the video to where you need it or whatever that's not what we're doing today what you want is this icon right next to it it's a little rectangle and when we click on that you have two choices capture frame and set poster frame when your image is in Lightroom and you look down here at the film strip this little part of the video you're looking at is called the poster frame that's also if you're in grid view in the library module you'll see the poster frame that's what you'll see and by default that's the first frame of the video and that may not be the most informative frame to let you know what that video is about so you are able to pick any other frame in the video and set it as the poster frame so then when you're looking down here at the film strip you'll see exactly what you want to see so you know what the video is about or again if you're in grid view of the library you'll see what it's about and that will help you better determine what that video is about and that's how you would do it but we're not talking about that here we're talking about capture frame and I mentioned it's very easy to do just click on capture frame and this frame now is captured it's right here it's a JPEG you could see kill the clock live at Mohawk place dash one dot JPEG and then you could go to the develop module and you could just process this just like any other image now of course it's a JPEG it's not it's not going to give you a raw file because a raw file raw info isn't available from a video so you're going to be a little bit limited but at least you'll be able to process this any way you like you can make it black and white let's say um, you could come here do tone curve all these controls are available to you so you could process the image as you see fit and then when you're done with it you could export it like a regular image go to file export and I'll call it KTC for kill the clock 
and we'll just export it to the desktop. And you can see it's right here. Here's our image. And there's the still that we captured from the video, processed in Lightroom, and exported from Lightroom. So that's it for episode 126. Now a little hint about what's coming up in episode 127. You may have noticed at the beginning of this video when I flipped, after I imported the video and I flipped from the library to the develop module, and we're on the video, it says right here, video is not supported in develop. Well, how can you process a video in Lightroom? Because you'll get this message. Well, in episode 127, I'll show you kind of a way you could trick Lightroom into processing the video, uh, you know, just in the develop module as you normally would with a still image. So look for that in episode 127. That's it for episode 126. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.